Welcome back to Shani and Me. So I've decided to document my journey into writing a one woman show about me and my hero, Shani Wallace, with or without her consent. So in the last video that I posted, I said I could be like the daughter she never had. Before someone got in touch with me to let me know that um, well, it turns out she does have a daughter. Should have made such a big selling point of that, I guess. Maybe shouldn't have said it in capitals. Also, you pronounce it Shaney, not Shani. Now, I may have been a little presumptuous when I contacted her, displaying total disregard for research. As it turns out, when you don't do research, you're just one generic, fake, northern accent away from becoming Philomena Kunk. Why did raisins happen? Is it because when the grapes were on the ships and they drove them over from the countries where the grapes were, and then they took them to the UK, is it because by that point the grapes had shriveled up? As a result of, you know, COVID-19 and, and really nothing to do with the fact that she didn't want to talk to me. I've been under a duvet mainly, eating whole blocks of Sainsbury's Manchego cheese and watching Oliver exclamation mark on repeat in reruns of Escape to the Chateau. Back at the workshop, Jean-Louis has finished. I mean, I did talk to my therapist about it. And what exactly was it that drew you to Nancy as a character? Nancy and Bill were one of my original relationship studies. I'm drawn to these terrible people who are mean and monosyllabic and great in bed and have issues with their mum. Mm. Perhaps the little girl in you needs to stop chasing Bill. Because he might kill me on a bridge just before I rescue the secretly rich boy. Exactly. So just before she goes to try and rescue the secretly rich boy, which is Oliver, she sings this song and it's called As Long As He Needs Me and it uses a secret weapon. A key change. I have a very complicated relationship with key changes. I think that key changes are really underrepresented. In the 90s, you didn't really need to be able to write pop music. You just had to be able to change the key. Westlife. Bad music with key changes. Atomic Kitten. They just stole other people's music with key changes. Celine Dion. You can be a phenomenal artist and still use key changes. Controversially, Michael Jackson's Earth song. No key changes. It just gives the illusion of having many, many key changes. It's a double trap because it doesn't have any key changes. It's just a really inspiring song. You can be a problematic person and artist and still be right about climate change. 